Uh, come back. Remember this, okay? Because the dock that was just there a second ago was the dock that was created by Eric. the s the split timeline from the police state. That is our dock. Marty. That is our dock here there. the whole time. The dock it. it is I'm, now is it it's not going to be the already? same dock. Oh, it's At over. At least that's what right. I'm guessing. You missed a very <laughs> Look at your hair, party. dude. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. <laughs> and if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. <laughs> oh my At goodness. Least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Yikes. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is going to play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder... If we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! <laughs> what about your father? Oh, yes, I suppose I should wait for him to finish dealing with the officials. I can't say he was exactly thrilled with the unexpected turn my demonstration took. But you heard him in there. He understands that a life of science has its ups and downs. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry, is something wrong? <laughs> well, kind of. It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh, I lost somebody. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? Uh, no. It was, uh, Carl Sagan. What? The guy who tried to hire me in there? You were friends with him? Strange. But how? Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here. But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Uh, please, Emmy, don't ask <laughs> What's any... What's this? <laughs> Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. You wouldn't understand. Oh, yeah? Try me. <laughs> Read about it in What's 50 that? years. An explanation. But you've got to promise me, don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? <laughs> Just promise. I figured, what the hell? <laughs> I'll be right there, Pop. It's a callback to the city. first movie where he gives him a, rips up the letter you and he glues understand. it back together. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to uh, something. Just, Just say you promise. Okay, I promise. Wait. I will see you again, right? Eventually. I guarantee it. Okay. Is it gonna blow out like usually? There we go. Gotta make sure you get that in there. All right. So who's in it? Anybody? Yeah, it worked. So you were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. <laughs> How was the ceremony? Long. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. <laughs> Only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? Uh. 
I came to make sure you stayed on the path of science. As opposed to what? The dog food business? <laughs> Politics. Politics? That doesn't sound like me. It wasn't. Never mind, it's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies. Me? Nah, no. Well, we do. You I'm do remember that Edna took my. Oh no, the manure. No, mercantile delivery. Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. Uh. <laughs> you see my Artie anywhere? Artie McFly? That's the one. Just got a call from Wait Melvin a at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? Hitched? Married. That's, that's actually Michael J. Fox. I swear. That boy's gonna put his pop on the early grave. So that's how she got her job back. Ah! He, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. <laughs> Holy crap, uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of- that Car! Carl! No, car. Oh, great. How the hell did she get back here? She? You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all <laughs> no, very simple. No, because I got to marry your granddaughter. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Eh, well. Wait, Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it. It made a loud noise, and then wham! Whoosh! Nothing! Great Scott! Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. I forget. Is uh, she guys, you mind Principal me Strickland's what the hell sister? I swear to God, if a uh -oh. dinosaur shows up. Uh, wait. What just happened? Doc? Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. H how? Something must have happened to it. A long time ago. Hayesville! Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. <laughs> uh, let's, let's... <laughs> where exactly are we? We're a little lost. For this point of my rounds, that's where you are. About 25 miles outside of Hayesville. Take a wrong turn, did you? In a matter of speaking. Tell us. Huh. We're looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it? A hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just as I suspected. She went to the past! When did Hill Valley go away? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then, whatever it was, it must have happened at least 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? <laughs> well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Gee, 
Say, if there's anybody who can tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. <sighs> I think she'll talk to me. I'm, I'm pretty good with women. <laughs> the thing is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be checking myself for sending you up there. <laughs> I'm a little teary-eyed right now because of Michael J. Fox playing in this... Can I drive? Granted, this game is a few years old. But the fact that he's, you know... And he, now he's on, like, designated survivor. So he's, he's still kicking it. You know, suffering from Parkinson's and still kicking it as an actor. Gotta love that. Mary Pickford. Pickford? Why does that name sound familiar? That's the old jalapy. Wipe your feet. I bet she's in the second floor window. Sounds like she likes to see visitors. Okay, find out what happened to Hill Valley. Well, clay oven. Like clay aching? Doc, it's a... <laughs> What the hell? He just like doesn't want to. No, I don't want to talk to any of it. And look at this. Look. <laughs> he just doesn't want to do it. Deal with. He doesn't want to deal with. Oh, you dumb shit. Well, hey, the pie plate. Step away from the cabin. Huh? Pardon us for intruding, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us. I don't talk to hooligans. I'm a very friendly sort. Doc, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to... Listen, just leave it to me. Okay. Oh, God, I, that was... You know how to handle that was four episodes ago, and I don't remember what, what we did to get in, to get in her good graces. Importantly, the precise time when it happened. Oh, Jesus. Okay, no, I, is this going to happen again if I do this? All right, yeah, that's good. Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. Yeah, Marshall that's Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment way back in the future. Oh, let's go check out the shitter. Yeah, <laughs> I can wait. <laughs> All right. Well, everything in the DeLorean is probably, like, destroyed, so you can't find anything else about it from that. An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. Uh. Cabin door! Oh, okay. Well, that was easy enough. Hey, Miss Strick- Who are you? Uh... <laughs> uh, Yakov Shmirnov? That's a foolish name! And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names! But we're not strangers! How do I know you? You tried to have me arrested once, a long time ago, remember? Listen, Sonny. I'm an easygoing woman, but Sorry? I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't now, talk about any day Now, not to talk badly today. about voice actors, because, you know, hey, 
They are. I guess you know, that didn't go so well. They are very, very talk about the past revered because in my mind because you know, past, she's uh, just in general. But we're gonna pry it out of her. But her yeah, playing old again. does not work. Her playing old does not work at all. Does not work. Mary Pickford. Now where would she pick up a fake name like that? Mary oh, Pickford. Shit. All right, fine. Now where would she pick up a fake name like that? Oi. Blacksmith sign. There we go. A blacksmith sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. <laughs> That'd be funny if she went back and, and. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought we had maybe a newspaper. It'd be kind of interesting. So now that okay. Mr. Fusion, no! I hate to see it like this. Yeah, it was in pieces at the end of the third movie. <clears throat> I wonder what's cooking. Burning stick! Why would you... What the hell? Oh god, yes! I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Especially poo. Ouch! Alright, never mind. Apparently that was not a good thing. Okay, let's try this again. Look! <laughs> oh, for god's sakes! Why the hell? Edna's oh, grandfather, not that again. Marshall okay. Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment. All right. Way back. In the, the future. future. Let's try it again. Try it again. Stop sign. Knock, knocky, knock. Let's try going with Sunny Crockett now. What? It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? You interviewed me once, back when you were young. How many times I gotta tell you? Uh, I don't shit. talk about any time but today! Okay, we spent today together. We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? Listen, lady, you've got to tell us where Hill Valley went. Hill Valley? You're standing in Hill Valley. Population one. But there used to be a regular town here, right? Might be there was a town once long ago, or might be it was in the future. How many times I gotta tell ya, I don't talk about any time but today! Alright, 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 uh... Come on, Miss Strickland. Miss who? Strickland. You're Edna Strickland. Take a look at the mailbox, Sonny. Name's Pickford. Mary Pickford. So we gotta talk and about the now. Has been for as long as I care to remember. We talk about the and now. Like I told you, I don't care to remember! All right. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have anything? <gasps> Could this work? Could that work? Could playing her own voice? I brought you this. I ain't interested in flowers. When are you here? And I especially ain't interested in talking flowers. Put them away! Okay. Do I have anything else? No. I don't think so. Okay. Were you expecting anything, uh, in particular? I wasn't expecting you. I don't have the newspaper anymore. I don't have the newspaper anymore. Were you expecting ah, anything shit. Now uh, we've exhausted in all particular? That. 
I wasn't expecting you. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Doc, you gotta help me out here. I didn't know. Listen. I hate to see it like this. Talk to Doc. I brought you him. Him? Who oh, him? Him who? Carl Sagan. Sure, you remember him. Carl Sagan. Uh, the guy you framed as a speakeasy arsonist. Speakeasy? A arson? That's complete gibberish, Sonny. Whatever you're talking about's got nothing to do with me. I never involve myself in such criminal shenanigans. <sighs> Still, his features remind me of someone. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Trust me, Doc. Just take one for the it. team, son. <laughs> can't be <laughs> Emmett. Yes, Edna. It's me. It is. It's October 13th, 1931. Oh, and you are Emmett. Emmett. Oh. How did I get so turned around? Have I been dreaming, or well, stay there? This is gonna be it's messing with somebody's mind. They don't know what the hell's going on. Sinful. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Okay. Eh. Uh, hi. Darling, you've come back. Watch the tripwire. <laughs> of course I knew you would. And then just close your eyes, like it'll you be over be soon. One to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tip. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I don't even know what I we're talking have. about. What? Uh. Ah, uh, okay. Schnookums. I don't know if that's... Uh, is that... Sh I don't remember. Oh, you're sweet. Okay. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um, okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh! Whoops. What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. All right. Well, shit. Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? No, Edna. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. And something's about to happen. Oh, yes, yeah, something big. But what? Better not talk to her directly. It'll break the spell. All right, well, then what the flipping hell? Maybe this will take you back. Back where? I don't want to go back. Stay in the moment, Edna. Please, Marty. Don't interrupt the trance. All right, well, then you do all this. Help me figure something out. Yes? <laughs> what are... I still can't believe my grandpa married Trixie. What are we going to do about that? 
It's a dire situation, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a back seat to unravel. I was gonna say, I don't think it really matters right now because, you know. Edna used the DeLorean to jump into the past. I wonder why she never jumped out again. Put yourself in her shoes, unexpectedly propelled into the past by an unreliable time machine. Would you risk another trip? <laughs> Am I? I'm not sure what she's searching for. Did Detective Parker do something? Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Can you think of a way to prompt her memory? Yeah, yeah, listen. I'll figure something out. Listen, fire, bad. It's just like, it's, it's, it's just like Frankenstein, fire, bad. When she sees the fire, she'll remember the flames from the, uh... Look! Bur look at the burning stick! Ow! Get out! Get out! Get out! Don't upset her, Marty. Sorry. Oh wait, do it to the DeLorean. Do it to the DeLorean then. Oi! Okay, this is taking a turn for like the the, the, the absurd. Now. Now. Uh wait, mop? Mop mop mop? Are they long? I don't think so. Maybe not. Alright now what the hell? Don't upset her, Marty. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Shit. I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Wait, what? Not sure what that'll do. <laughs> Can I wear the mop as a hat? We're gonna go clean the shitter? What do we do? Not doing? sure what that'll do. Alright, uh, crap! What? Not sure what that'll Not do. Not sure what that'll do. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Look. Not sure what that'll right, do. Alright, We don't have anything that's gonna... I, I, I'm thinking that I, I, this is just my brain thinking that we've got to make it look like the DeLorean caught, you know, the, the flames coming out of the back of the DeLorean. But I can't see the DeLorean. I can't move. Shit, I'm stuck with it. Not sure what that is. All right, do. fine, whatever. Just get rid of it, damn it. Ow! Get out! <clears throat> <sighs> Don't upset her, Marty. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. I'd like to burn one and probably figure this shit out, because it's pissing me off. Let's see, is it going to make us... Yeah, this damn shit again. I hate to see it like this. <sighs> what about the cactus? You can go shh. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories uh. about me. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk <laughs> to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. <sighs> that. Who's there? Please, Mark. Don't interrupt the trance. I. It's locked. How the hell she didn't make? All right, whatever. All right, look. Huh? Yeah, I can wait. Okay, so here is what we've got in front of us. Let's see if there's anything else we can. Dude, you got a ring on.
Mary Pickford. Ah. Now where would she pick up a fake name like that? I've pretty much done everything I could think of. Besides... Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment, way back, in the future. What else we got? Wait a second. Saloon, blacksmith, why do we have these items? Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. I'm, I'm pretty much at this point trying anything. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Maybe this will take you back. Please, Marty, don't interrupt the trance. Ugh. I brought you this. Already got one. <laughs> Not, Not sure, sure what, what that'll, that'll do. do. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe this will take you back. Please, Please Marty, Marty. Don't interrupt the trance. Damn it. Just beat the damn thing. Who cares? Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Not that sure what that'll do. Alright, I've hit a wall. I've hit a damn wall with this. Okay, I don't know what the hell that did. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. Uh... We've... Help me figure something out. Yes? I'm not sure what she's searching for. Did Detective Parker do something to Edna at the expo? Yeah, he tried to arrest her. That must be it. Can you think of a way to prompt her memory? Maybe we could check the time circuits to well, find out what the she burned out. We could, if there's anything left of the time circuits, but I'm afraid they rusted out long ago. You know, I've been dealing with Edna Strickland a lot lately, and I've seen her old and I've seen her young, but I've never seen her so... That shit crazy? Wow! wow. Excuse me, sorry, that was loud, but wow, that was... How do you think Edna got this way? I guess that Edna's immense guilt over whatever she did in the past, combined with the trauma of traveling through time, has caused her to repress her memories. If we want to find out what happened, we'll have to break through those blocks. Preferably, we're gonna set something on fire. We gotta us. set something on fire. I know we do. You really think we can get through to Edna? She seems pretty out there. Even the most repressed memories can be restored with the appropriate stimulation. Just have to find the right Peter over the head down a path of emotional recovery before we get erased by the time stream. Sure, no problem. It's disorienting enough under the best of circumstances. No pressure. Imagine the effect on a mind that's completely unprepared, especially a mind that does a deal well with chaos. Okay. <laughs> when did you die? The DeLorean, I mean. That vehicle hasn't been operational in a very long time. My guess is, whatever happened to Hill Valley also happened to it. Alright. I'll figure something out. Maybe we set that, maybe the, the speakeasy going, you know, re jog your memory about something else, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I there's got to be a reason for fire. Was the, was the cactus in the shot? No, it was not in the shot. Son of a bitch! Uh. 
All right, can we do anything else? Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. All right, do. what about this, the pot, the potted plant? Not sure what that'll do. <sighs> Not sure what that'll do. Son of a monkey. Oh, wait a second. Saloon. No, no, no. Uh, no. Talk about a watering hole. Okay. Speakeasy saloon. All right. Well, that's, you know, it was a soup kitchen, but. Really? I mean, well, no, that wasn't the one that was caught on fire. That was the new one. Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Don't upset her, Marty. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Son of a bitch. Listen, we're getting there. We're just not doing it in the right order. Now we need to do this with... Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> Not sure what that'll do. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. How about this? What, what? Let's. I don't know. Not sure no, what okay. that'll do. All right. I I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Not sure what that'll do. 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 Ah, uh, at this point? Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. <laughs> Skip. Just gonna have to edit a lot of this out. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. My God. <laughs> Come on. We. I've done about everything else there is to it, and I tried this before. What the hell that... Hmm. Oh. No, I don't think you know. I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... <laughs> Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was I don't... sprayed. <laughs> oh, he's after me. <laughs> He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future. <laughs> I can't shake him. Well, no use in holding back now. Let's see what this baby can do. <laughs> and here it comes. Yes? Here what comes? I, uh, I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? Uh, oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Jesus. 
All right, so I don't suppose the flux capacitor still works. What? I build my parts sturdy, but not that sturdy. Again, with the damn the inventory thing, I didn't even think about playing it for her like that. But I thought he would, like, take me out of the mood. Oh, get out! Get out! Uh, glitch! Upset her, Marty. I guess this isn't That's the right time glitch. to be burning things. That's a glitch. She's still sitting in the uh, DeLorean. Okay, that was interesting. Transported. Where? Back. Back to the past. What do you see? Hill Valley, but it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is. Is what? Grandfather, big as life. Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by... I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! <laughs> Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. Oh my mind. God! Can I get the hat? Edna's hat. There this we go. hat doesn't frame her face very well. Ah, oh my goodness! Build a freaking like. Do you want to build a snowman? Not bad. Oh, Grandfather, how well you look. How well everything looks. <laughs> how does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure. But all the buildings are so sturdy and well kept. Oh, God, and the she young burned it all people down. of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and She burnt upright, it all down. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century. And I know the reason why. Why? why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. So maybe who? that's... But who's this? Who? who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Oh god, Shannon. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen. Look at the face yes. she was making. That was awesome. Yes. Like, oh. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? Oh, so we decoraded the outhouse with the sign. She's going to go burn it. She's going to go burn it down. Clear. She's going to burn it down. Oh, there we go. There we go. She set the entire town on fire. I asked. I fell backwards. Uh, I failed upwards into, into figuring that one out. Know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. <laughs> a saloon in Hill Valley. Uh, I was gonna go take a he piss. Can't do that, Grandpa. You can't let him do it. You can't let that snake ruin paradise. Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very <laughs> conclusive. Uh, here, Edna. Take, embrace the fire. Do what you were meant to do. It is your destiny. Your density. <laughs> Let the flames dance. Do it. Yes. Burn them oh, all. Man. You've just given me an idea. Burn them all, Edna. First, we'll need some kerosene. 
Oh my god, she's gonna hit, she's blowing up her shitter. And not in a good, or well, even a better way, or a bad way, who knows. And now, watch. Oh! Yes! We need that Elmo fire gift. Beautiful! The devil and me were consumed by the fires of righteousness! You're burning shit! Burn, you sucker! Burn! Wow. She was never this passionate when we were dating. Oh. Is it that now? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon. The flaming poo! It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan! <laughs> I'm a hooligan! Uh, what smells like flaming shit? Uh. <laughs> Did I lay it on too thick? A little bit. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story, uh -oh. am I, Mr. Sagan? Uh-oh. You set me up for a fall. Uh-oh. You and Shmanoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, uh... I hereby sentence you two criminals hey. to... You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. Thank you, great grandpa. Or great great grandpa? I don't know. I've lost the thread on that. <laughs>